when 15% is lost in grinding wheat a country can export 30 lakh tons of wheat on the other hand if 10% is lost in grinding it can export 40 lakh tons of wheat the production of wheat in the country is right options have been given 20 80 200 and 800 so if 15 percent is lost in grinding wheat a country can export 30 lakh tons of wheat the export can be 30 lakh tons on the other hand if only 10 percent is lost in grinding if only 10 percent is lost in grinding then it can export 40 lakh tons then it can export 40 lakh tons of wheat what is the production of wheat in the country what is the total production of wheat in the country that's the question now clearly option one is eliminated see when they can export 30 lakhs how can we say total production is 20, only 20 lakhs total production should be more than the export right it should be more than the export so when the export is 30 how can the total be 20 20 is wrong it can be 80 200 800 right all these are more than 30 now you have to understand something very basic here i mean uh, otherwise you will not be able to pursue the solution the total production let's assume the total production is t the total production is equal to the consumption plus export see basically what happens is out of the total production in your country you will consume something and remaining is exported yes or no usually what do we do if you have produced produce let's say 100 if my requirement is 60 i'll use 60 and 40 will be exported if my requirement is only seven uh, you know uh, if my requirement is 75 i'll consume 75 remaining 25 is exported so always total is split into two parts what you consume in house and whatever is left out is exported you know, basically that's the idea whatever is left out is exported yeah now again here what is the production of the wheat in that country production in means the overall production of wheat it is being exported after grinding so there are a lot of things which you need to understand underlying things which you have to understand production is the total production of wheat in which something is lost in grinding also so basically there are three components i mean it's like consumption plus export plus the loss in grinding that's the actual idea right you can take total production as consumption plus export plus the loss in grinding you know one more element is there plus the loss the loss that you make in grinding the wheat right so again i mean if i have to break it up accordingly uh, there is some loss so let's say loss is 15 and my consumption is 60 so 75 is one only 25 can be exported here if the loss is let's say 10 my consumption is 75 only 15 can be exported i mean total has to be balanced 200 yeah that's the idea so what happens here there are two cases if 15 percent is lost then the country can export 30 right if 10 percent is lost then the country can export 40. remember total production remains the same there are two different cases here in both the cases the total remains the same which means consumption plus export plus loss in case one should be equal to consumption plus export plus loss in case two because total is not going to change right so find that out how do you solve it so you can say t is equal to let's say c plus export is how much in the first case 30 lakh tons plus loss is how much 15 percent 15 percent of t which implies 85 percent of t see 15 percent of total is lost so t minus 15 percent of t 85 percent of t equals to the consumption that you do plus 30 lakh tons in case two this is case one what happens in case two the total should be equal to the consumption plus 40 is being exported plus 10 percent is loss in uh the grinding 10 percent of the wheat, which means 90 percent is equal to your consumption in-house consumption is 40. solve these two equations 90 percent 85 percent of t 90 percent of t and t is what is required total production t is equal to what is the question solve for t so what happens subtract 90 percent of t minus 85 percent of t 5 percent of total equals to c and c gets cancelled equals to 10 which implies total is equal to 200 if 5 percent is 10 total will be 200 so 200 tons option 3 is the final answer you're able to follow 5 percent of the total production is 200 that's a 5 percent of the total production is 10 if 5 percent is 10 total will be 100 percent 100 percent will be 200 option 3 so basically this equation you need to understand whatever is the total production has got three components one is what you consume yourself in your country um, first of all whatever you lose in the grinding then whatever is consumed in your country and then comes whatever is exported whatever is left out is exported yeah you can go by options also if you want you can go by options also like in option three in first case 15 percent is lost 15 percent of 200 is so basically what you have to do is this 15 percent of 200 is uh, 30 plus export is how much 30 which implies your consumption is how much 30 plus 30 is 60 so consumption is 140 in second case when the export uh, when the loss is 10 percent so 10 percent of 20 is 20 
एक्सपोर्ट इज अमच फोर्टी प्लस वॉट इज इन हाउस कंजन वन फोर्टी सो इन बोथ केसेज यू गॉट इन हाउस कंजन इज वन फोर्टी विच मीन दिस इज करेक्ट थर्टी इज लॉस्ट थर्टी इज एक्सपोर्टेड ट्वेंटी इज लॉस्ट फोर्टी इज एक्सपोर्टेड वॉट वी हैव वॉट वी वॉन्ट फॉर अवर सेल्फ इज सेम विच मीन दिस इज करेक्ट आंसर द सेम थिंग विल नॉट हैव इन अदर केस लाइक फॉर एक्साम्पल डू द सेम थिंग फॉर ऑप्शन फोर टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज लॉस्ट फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ एट हंड्रेड इज वन ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी इज एक्सपोर्टेड विच मीन हाउ मच इज इन हाउस कंजम्शन सिक्स फिफ्टी वन ट्वेंटी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी इज वन फिफ्टी Remaining 650 is in-house consumption. If 10% is lost, 10% of 800 is 80. How much is exported? 40 is exported. What is in-house? 80 plus 40 is 120. 800 minus 120, 680. You see, it's not matching. How can your in-house consumption change? That cannot change. I mean, that's an assumption that it should not change, right? It is fixed. So that's why option four is wrong. Similarly, when you do the calculation for option two, it also get eliminated. I mean, you can go by options as well if you want, right? So option one. Two hundred. Sorry, option uh, three. Two hundred tons is the final answer. We can keep it simple also. Like five per. I mean, if if there's there's one more way of solving it. Now let me explain you a smarter way of solving this. I mean, now that we have understood this, let me also give you another method. The smart method of solving this, right? What do you do? Smart method. I mean, now that you have understood the whole uh, concept, smart method is this. See, fifteen percent is lost. In case one, ten percent is lost in case two, which means how much are we saving in the case two? Five percent is being saved. If you understand, fifteen percent is the loss in case one, right? In case two, ten percent is the loss, which implies what is the saving? Five percent is saved. Five percent is saved. Yes, this five percent saving will be exported, right? Because our consumption will remain the same. Whatever extra is left out now will be exported. If you observe in case one, we had exported only thirty lakhs. In case two, we have exported forty lakhs. How much extra? Ten lakhs extra. So I can say that this five percent is equal to ten lakhs. This five percent should be equal to ten lakh. I mean ten, ten lakh tons or whatever, right? Units doesn't matter. Five percent is equal to ten. Hundred percent is equal to what? You know that's a smart way of doing it. You don't have to write all the equations. I mean equations that used to explain you the whole background. But smart way of solving this is as follows. In case one, I am losing fifteen percent. In case two, I am losing only ten percent. Which means my saving is five percent. Five percent is getting saved in case two, and that five percent whatever is saved will be exported obviously. So in case two, I will export five percent more. But as per the numbers in case two, I am exporting ten more. From thirty, it becomes ten. Which means my five percent saving is equal to ten. That's what we have got here, right? Five percent is equal to ten. Five percent is ten. Hundred percent will be two hundred. 